Um, so the first thing you'll want to do is uh, on this left side here, just unplug this one MTA connector. And then you will see these two brass Phillips head screwder, screws. Undo those. Those off to the side. Now once those screws are free, this whole assembly right here should just pop right out. Just like that. So that's what you're, what you're left with. And then all you will do here is just bend this down like this, like so. Pop it out like that. This plastic piece comes off and your spring comes out. And for reassembly, you will just take this Pop it right back into place. And you take your two brass screwdrivers and reinstall. Kind of being difficult here. And then you'll take your MTA, put it right back into here. Now to do this side, you'll have to take off this PCB right here, but it's fairly simple. So you'll just unplug this one ribbon cable from right here. I like to go ahead and just unplug the entire thing from the PCB just so it's out of the way. Unplug this three pin MTA. You'll have to take these black Phillips head screws off of the MTA because that's what's holding them to the spacer. All right, and then from there, you'll need to go to the front of the module and undo this screw and this screw. It's the two screws that are closer together, not these that are further apart. That just holds on the spacer here at the back. Those two screws are free, and all four of these black screws are all the exact same, so don't worry about getting them mixed up. It's not a problem. So now our process is the same as the one back here. You just take your Phillips head and these brass screws. Dump that out of there. Your whole piece right here will just pop right up. And you'll just bend this piece down. Black piece comes off. And then your spring will pop off. And then you take your whole assembly, put it right back into place. Now there is, what I didn't mention all on the first one, there is a flat side to that shaft right there. And there is a corresponding hole with a flat side right in there. So that does, these can only go in one way. So you just need to install flat side in the same orientation um, from the pot assembly to the main part of the joystick. So from there, you just take your little brass screws and reinstall just like the last one. This one down here is going to be a little difficult to get to because it's at a weird angle on to the side of the uh, panel, but it's doable without having to go through too much trouble. And the screws are also magnetic, so that, that helps as it's falling off the panel.
So then from there, you will go back to the front of the panel and install the two screws. Be sure you hold them from, from the front. I can just do it with one finger and just hold them. And then you see the screws popping out right there and right there. And I just take the spacers, screw them back on. And then you'll want a pair of pliers to just hold the spacer while you tighten it down with the screwdriver, just so you know that spacer is good and secure. You want to take your PCB and your same little black screws, drop it on the floor. You'll take your MTA, plug back into your three pin mail connector. Then you'll take your ribbon cable, plug it back into the module, and back onto the swamp PCB. And now you got a joystick controller that's got a floppy joystick. No return to center, no nothing. You should only have these two plastic pieces and these two springs left over. Every other part should go back onto the module.